Hello and welcome to the first video on my channel. Uh, this channel is going to be dedicated to cutting opal by hand uh, using this trusty block or is the brethren. Uh, this one is actually pretty damaged and uh, should be replaced in, in the coming week. Um, today I'm not going to cut any videos. Uh, to, to cut any opal, I'm simply going to show you uh, really what I've done so far. Uh, and now keep in mind, I've only had a beginner's parcel, which means that the quality is very low. Uh, the pieces are very small, they're not very clear. But that, that should give an idea to people of uh, what opals can be. Uh, at their worst. Um, then I, I figure in the coming weeks we're gonna cut some video, cut, cut some opals um, on camera, uh, probably uh, separate some bags of rough um, that I will receive uh, shortly. Um, so I think without further ado let's begin. Uh, First, let's see, we have some uh, jelly opal, the not very, not very bright, uh, only somewhat bluish in the, in the light when on the dark background. Um, so we've got this one, we've got this one, uh, which is quite similar, not very clear, not very colorful, uh, and badly polished. This one which is slightly better because it has a little bit of blue, of blue green teal at the end. Um, there, this is a good angle I think, shows better, but I still wouldn't call it a quality opal. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Let's go into the whites. So these are... The the, the source of my uh, Wigner Sparsel is mixed. So it's some Kurupiti, some Lightning Ridge. Um, only Australian though. Uh, this one doesn't have much. If I... Even if I flash... Uh, I barely see it, and you don't at all. Mm, this one is a similar. You have tiny bit of green and red, uh, but really nothing that's gonna blow anybody's mind. This one is actually the biggest one uh, aside from the crystal. It's also Kubri PD white, uh, not very shiny, especially with this kind of light, but I don't want to give anybody a false impression that my opals are great We're using art, uh, a lot of artificial light. Um, that's just not the aim of this channel to flabbergast everyone with stunners. Uh, this one also, this one might actually be a bit more matrixy, but uh, I don't treat that those, and I'm really still beginning, so I think we be we don't really see any color on this one either. Indeed. Uh, but now maybe we can get uh, this one, this is the last one that really is a bit strange, a bit weak. Uh, I think we saw some red here. Well, matters not. And uh, now let's go into the better looking one. Uh, they are mostly um, they have better color not that bright either but just a little bit less uh, a little a little bit better color but also a lot of potch uh, which 
is not ideal. Let's see this one. This one has good color. It's a crystal. I'm trying to get the This is probably as the best I can do in terms of showing color. Uh, it's mostly green with a tiny flash of red and orange. Uh, let's see if I can get it up close. Yeah, that's... That's probably better. Uh, my saturation is not so great on the uh, with my camera, so most of them look worse. So it's got it's got some nice colors, um, but again, not enough to mm, block the, the not enough to be quite opaque, and the 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 crystal itself is a bit mm, blurry and not that appetizing uh, this one is actually not so bad uh, so we've got quite good uh, green and blue but with a lot of potch and actually we can see some marks here uh, with some some scratches that are Obviously, not good, but, well, that's what happens when you have a very, um, a very thin color bar. You have to make sacrifices, and in this case, I decided that I preferred to have the color for sure, instead of just of losing the, of losing the color to maybe remove the, um, the small holes. Uh, let's see what else. This one is a small round. It still has sand on the one side, but it's it is what it is. I'm because I know these are not are never going to be valuable, even if I work them to the best of my abilities. I decided to uh, go for a enough is enough approach, where. Well, it doesn't need to be perfect. If it's good enough to represent the idea I had, it's good enough to be completed. Let's see if I can make it look better with some color, with the light. Yeah, here's the here's the nice plot, the nice color place. Uh, we've only got three to go, and the video is already longer than I thought it would be. But uh, then the breaks. Let's see, here we have another gray. And again, the set, the color is not, doesn't show as much as it does in real life. Although this one is still quite tame, uh, but it is technically red on gray, uh, Lightning Ridge. Um, realistically too small to be, too small and too weak to be valuable, but I, I made it and I, I'm satisfied with that. Uh, another one, this one might have the better colors, uh, yeah, we see the flash even though the focus is 
or bo There we go. So we've got some red orange, some green, some more green. The problem is that the lower left quadrant, uh, this part with my thumb, is quite uh, quite void of colors. So, but keeping but removing that part would leave a very jagged um, edge here where where there is still good colors. So, once again, uh, leave well enough alone and. But it's still it's still a it's still a nice stone. Um, too small really to be a ring stone, um, or and too well too plain to be an earring or or a, just a support stone on a, on a piece of jewelry. But and the last but not least, uh, probably my favorite, the one I've polished the most, and still it hasn't worked out so well. Uh, but this is a. I would ar I would argue it's a dark crystal. Um, it's got a very good blue, uh, quite rich blue, uh, mostly on one part. But the on there. So yeah, it's quite a good, quite a good looking blue. Um, actually, the first stone that I that I uh, cut that made it to a decent shape uh, because it was relatively big enough to have color um, in a in a bee spread in a way. Um, I actually polished it and then I decided to repolish it because it wasn't so good. The polish was not quite good. Uh, now the polish is okay. Uh, the, the color is is showing even when dry, but it's it's an unconventional unconventional shape, and there is way too much patch at the back right now, uh, which I would need to remove to make it into um, a piece of jewelry or a gem of any kind. Um, so yeah, this is what I have so far. Um, next for well me and the channel. Um, we'll see. Uh, either it will be uh, the opening of a pack I receive, um, so really separating what is uh, good enough to make a video, what is good enough that I will cut it but, but at home, and what is, well, just trash that needs to be put in the garbage. Um, so it's either going to be that, or I've received this uh, this gem this week, which is not, it's not ready of course, and I'm gonna have to wet it because it is not polished, it's still dry. Uh, let's see, so, well you already see there's some, some color, and here we have the color bar that I'm gonna be chasing. Uh, it has, I, this is actually the first piece that I received that I paid money, good money for directly. Uh, good money is relative, of course. If you, I mean, let's say good money for amateur, for amateur. Um, uh, yeah, we'll see what comes. I, I would hope for a one carat gem, uh, with a good, with a good, color showing uh, the color bar goes all the way through it's facing it should be facing this way in a nice blue green pattern uh, we'll see which which pattern um, and we've already we already see a bit of the top and yeah so keep up with the channel to see what becomes of this one and all the others. See you in the next video.